All right, let's install Android Studio on the new MacBook Pro with M1 chip. I've done a search over on Google for Android Studio. I'm going to go and click the download Android Studio and SDK tools. Download Android Studio for Mac. Agree with the terms and then click download. We're going to wait for it to finish the download. All right, it's finished downloading and I'm just going to click on it. Wait for the DMG to open. There we go. I'm just going to drag it and drop into the applications folder. All right, now let's open the applications folder, find Android Studio and run it. Click open. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. We don't want to import the settings. Don't want to send data. There we go. You can also update Kotlin. Click restart. There we go. Just want to do the standard. Um, I'm going to go with the dark theme. And these are our current settings. It's going to start downloading the components, libraries, and required files. All right, after downloading and installing the packages, you can see that it wasn't able to install one of the interrelated packages, which is fine since uh, this is an M1 chip and it's not an Intel chip, but let's just finish and see if everything's working just fine. There we go. Let's create a new project and uh, let's just go with maybe bottom navigation activity. Just go with the default here. All right, let's run the app. And as you can see that the app builds, but there is a problem with the emulator. You can run the app on a device. So if you hook up an Android phone to your M1 MacBook Pro, you can run it on your device, no problem. But you can't run it on an emulator because the emulators of Android are built for Intel chips. You can see here that it says your CPU does not support VTX, which is uh, basically the same as telling you that this emulator does not run on the M1 chip, at least for now. So if you want to use Android Studio to build your Android apps, then you need to have a device connected to your computer to be able to test your app and run your app. Other than that, everything else seems to be working just fine. And uh, you can use Android Studio on the new Apple laptops with the M1 chip. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. You can also watch these videos, which I think you'd be very interested in. Let me know if you have a question in the comments below and I'll be seeing you in the next video.